Let's talk showbiz. We Will Rock You, the musical based on Queen's music, is breaking records worldwide. It's coming to the Midlands. Besides its seven-year run in London, it's been selling out in 15 countries with more than six million tickets sold. The writer and director is none other than novelist, stand-up comic and comedy writer Ben Elton, the man who helped bring us the likes of The Young Ones and Blackadder. And Nick's been to meet him at Birmingham Hippodrome. I love musical theatre. Queen's music is, of course, uniquely theatrical. I mean, it's shot through with sort of grandiose bombast and great wit and self-parody and, and endless playing with style. I left home when I was 16 to go and study drama, and, and, and Bohemian Rhapsody was number one for the first nine weeks. <laughs> I was lonely and sad in a bed set and, you know. So, um, you know, of course I was a huge fan. Brian, Roger and I, uh, audition every single major cast, the cast that have come into the Birmingham Hippodrome, I've directed. I like to think it won't fail in Birmingham, because, I mean, Birmingham audiences, I know as a stand-up, many times I've played here and in the Midlands, uh, they'll tell you if they think it's crap, but they'll also tell you when they like it, which I like. All we want is banks that put on a few extra staff at lunchtime and have pens on the end of the little chains. <laughs> Which are you meant to be? Are you meant to be a stand-up comic or a writer? Is one a tangent to the other or what? I'm a writer, first and foremost. I never expected to be a stand-up. The truth is, I, I, I would have, you know, if I'd had a crystal ball at, at 15, it'd be more likely that I'd be involved in musical theatre, because actually I was doing musical theatre as a kid a lot, and I thought I'd become a playwright. I never expected to get my first break in TV with the young ones, or to end up becoming a comedian. That, that, that sort of developed, but it developed out of my writing. I think I personally have to say, Blackadder stands right up there. It has kind of, you know, become part of people's kind of collective memory, and obviously we're all, that's a wonderful thing to have been able to be a part of. Um, and uh, I think actually it kind of got me this gig, because both Brian, Roger and, and John were all Blackadder fans, and, and I think for some reason they sort of thought that kind of comedy was very kind of Queen-like, you know, maybe it's because we kept mentioning Queenie. You do seem to have tremendous energy. I, I'm still, I'm still ready to rock. I'm still ready to do it. Yeah, I, I've always, I've always kind of had a, an eagerness. You know, I was never cool at university. Like, you know, the cool people are the ones who just get like, what's the point? You know, why'd you bother, man? <laughs> you know, and I always, you know, no, let's do a show. Shut up, you nerdy! I was at university with Rick Mayle and Aid Edmondson, and that's really the core of where the young ones began. Boys. <laughs> Yeah, I've always been eager to entertain. I've always wanted to write stuff and always wanted people to laugh. And of course, your image in the early days was a bit of an angry young man, I would think, the stuff you wrote and the stand-up. Um, are you very much establishment now? I was perceived as... They used to think I was too left-wing, now they don't think I'm left-wing enough. I've always been about the same. I believe in the welfare state. I'm proud of being in a, a, a country that was tolerant enough to take my father as a Jewish refugee from, from Nazi Germany. I mean, in that respect, I've always been establishment. So I was never angry, I was passionate. Can't wait to see it. Seen it before, actually. Have you? Mm, I'm off to the theatre next week as well. Mm. Not with him, though. Else. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we will rock you. It also stars Kevin Kennedy, you know, Curly Watts from uh, Coronation Street, and Jonathan Wilkes runs from July the 1st to September the 5th at uh, Birmingham Hippodrome.